What's going on YouTube? Let me show you how to put a Capamon pet like this guy right here on your stream that he can interact with your stream maybe when you're a little busy. Say hello to your new followers, say hello to your new subscribers, and say hello to people who are chatting when you can't interact with them. You should always be interacting with your chat, but sometimes we know we can't. This guy will help you out. You can set him up with custom commands that'll make him dance, boogie, jiggle, shoot, heal, whatever you want him to do. And he's not the only one. There are plenty of pets to choose from. And if you really want to get fancy, you can tie in your Streamlabs chatbot or any chatbot that has commands for sounds, and you can tie the sound in with the GIF that your stream pet is playing, and you can do something like this. All right, guys, let's just get right into it. Please don't at me. I have one screen for my computer right now. You're going to see OBS looking a little funny, but don't worry. I'm going to walk you through it. It's going to be a good time. Let's go. All right, my guys, so you are going to go to cabamon.com. Log in with your Twitch. Once you log in with your Twitch, you will have a screen such as this. And the first stop you want to make is your marketplace. You'll notice there are some free Capamons and there are some paid Capamons. Don't worry, even if you want to pay for one, they're not that expensive. I think they're like less than five bucks or something like that. All right, after you find the Capamon that you want, my little shooter guy is free. You're going to click purchase. I already purchased it, so it's owned. Even if it's free, you still have to click purchase. Don't worry, if it's free, you pay nothing. Then go to your collection, and you're going to activate him. Make sure he's activated. The next thing you want to do is go to your command tab, and it will come with a whole bunch of normal, uh, or rather, preset things that you really shouldn't change. They're nice. They, uh... He will talk when somebody does cheers, resubs, uh, hosts. He'll make little uh, little banners that show up and, and, and kind of thank them for you. It's a little additional uh, hype for what's going on. And then you can make your own down here, and you'll see these are mine. And I'll show you how to make them real quick. So you're going to hit add. You're going to title the command. Use the exclamation point if you want it to be a command where somebody has to actually type it in like this. I suggest doing this if you are going to tie a GIF or a sound to it. That's just my opinion. When making a command, it's very simple. You just type in something. Let's make an awkward one. The message that comes up can be something that says, oh my goodness, this is awkward. Now, as far as, as, far as the animation is concerned, you want to pick the animation you want him to do. Please note that most Capamons have different commands, and I will show you here what they do. Like, he greets, he attacks, he dances up and down. You can give out a gift. So you pick the one that you want. All right, this is where it's important. The type becomes very... I don't mess with scheduled at all. I really don't know what it does. I don't want, I don't want him just constantly flapping off things. Um, although you could use him like a scheduled bot to show your social medias. I, I don't know. You can play around with that. Um, trigger and keyword. These are the important ones. A trigger word is anytime anyone types in the word, regardless of what the word is. Let's say you had up here, OMG. Anyone types in OMG and it's trigger word, he will automatically react to it. But if you want a keyword, you would hit keyword. I keep it for everyone so everyone can use it. And then you want to set the duration of how long you want him to do this for. Five seconds is pretty normal. And the cooldown I usually make 30 seconds. The reason for this is so that people can't completely spam it. Although you can change that cooldown to a much longer time if you so choose. Once you've made your list of commands, then you're going to go back to your profile. And you're going to see stream URL here. Hit show. And you want to copy and paste this into... OBS or slobs. All right, let me show you how to do that. You're just going to go into your OBS or slobs. Again, I apologize. I have one screen. I know this looks crazy. Don't at me. All right, once you're here, you hit add and browser source. You're going to call it whatever you want. I call mine pet. Simple, simple. I have one made, but I'm going to make one again for you. And you're going to just paste that source that you copied from the Capamon website right there. And then just hit OK. And there's your pet. I know he looks crazy. This is a crazy screen. 
So let's go here. Once you create your browser source and your pet's on your screen, it's as simple as just triggering your commands. Let me type in awkward, and this is what happens. Simple, simple. Now let's take them to the next level. Now, once you're back on your Capamon website, we're going to go back to the command you just made. There's the awkward. And we are going to implant either an image or a GIF GIF. GIF, GIF. So I use Giphy.com. You can see Giphy. Uh, this dude looks awkward enough. And we can just click into him. We can copy link. And you want to copy the GIF 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 link. You heard me. Then just go back to your Capamon and paste it. And hit save. Now, after you save it, it might not work. But let me show you how to fix it. See this little eyeball? You're going to click that eyeball off and click it back on. And now it should work. And there's your GIF. GIF. GIF GIF. Jiffy GIF. Now, as I said before, it's very simple to tie a sound to it as well, but that is done off the Capamon website. That is done on a Streamlabs chatbot or any of the other chatbots that you might be using that enables uh, sound keywords. Um, if you don't know how to enable sounds onto your chatbot, uh, I won't be covering that here, but I might cover it in a future uh, YouTube video. Please let me know if that's what you want to see. But basically, you would just make it the same keyword for the sound as you would the keyword for the pet. So, for instance, I have a Titanic pet command where he plays the GIF, 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 GIF of the Titanic. Um, and I have on my Streamlabs chatbot the Titanic sound. And I make them both command, which is the exclamation point, Titanic. So once I type that in... And you might have to mess around with the length of the GIF to match the length of the sound. And you can mess around with the length of the GIF on the Capamon website, as I showed you before. And don't forget, if you got anything out of this video, if this helped you at all, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. I cannot tell you how much it helps me. I know I'm a new YouTube channel, but I am trying, guys. I'm trying to help you out. I'll wait. And don't forget to check out my other videos. Maybe they'll help you out as well. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And you can always come check me out live on stream on Antimicrobial X. Check out any of my socials. All Antimicrobial X. That's TikTok, Instagram, all of them. And don't forget, man, be happy. Keep laughing. Be yourself. Have a good day.